going on everyone um, just sitting here just got a nice clean shave ha <laughs> uh, just kinda checking in seeing how everyone's doing um, I'm gonna do a little video today on uh, gargoyles um, you'll have to excuse the noise my landlord is mowing the lawn right now Oh, this is something I just started picking up uh, randomly like over the past well since I was 18 and honestly my mother uh, she's the biggest contributor to my gargoyle collection and it's a cheap little uh, occult item I would say it's a cult but it's actually like a Christian item um, it's a cheap item you can pick up I, I you can get them for like a dollar a pop and you find them a lot at like yard sales and stuff and it's coming that time of the year like a lot of mine I got from uh, 127 yard sales and you can get them a dollar two dollars a pop like they're just they're cheap little occult items and pretty much today I'm just explaining how they work um, I have a huge collection uh, when my old apartment burnt down uh, I couldn't I'm still unpacking some stuff here and there uh, I just I work all the time and I pick up shifts and I work doubles and it's it's hard to get everything unpacked but that's one of my newer ones uh, but you see these on top of uh, churches and stuff and people are like well that's kinda scary why why is there this demon looking figure on top of a church and it's like well basically the concept of a gargoyle is it scares away evil spirits and demons pretty much and the whole point of why they look so sinister and evil and ah, is that they're trying to be more scarier and look more scarier than the actual demon itself and it's it's simply to scare them off like like if I walked up to a someone's house and started like knocking on their door and messing with them at like 3 a.m. you know if they go come to answer the door with a ch -ch, you know I'm obviously gonna turn around and run whether he's gonna shoot me or not and that's the whole concept with the gargoyle is it wards away evil spirits evil demons um, and it's simply just doing that whole chest pump, you know, I'm going to be scarier than you. And then obviously they would come and see it and, oh shit, and run away, you know. It's kind of like when you're hiking in the woods and there's a bear. The, most people, their tendency is to run. You're actually supposed to like raise your arms up and, you know, and it, a lot of times it works supposedly it works it scares away you know the bear but uh that's pretty much it it's pretty simple um give me just a second and I'll show you uh, another item I have and something that works for people well I've always heard you know uh, give me just one second alright I'm back I'm back I'm back let me put these dudes up Man, I wish I could show you guys my full collection, though, because I have a ton of gargoyles. Like I said, they're real cheap. You can pick them up real cheap. They banish evil spirits and stuff. Uh, here's another one. Same concept as a gargoyle. Anyone know what this is? It's called a geote, and they are super common in Kentucky. And apparently, if you crack them open... Uh, I actually, I, uh, what was, uh, Clint, his name was Clint, I went to school with this guy named Clint, and, like, most of us were, like, working at McDonald's, at the time I worked at this, uh, gas station called Minute Mart, um, most of us were doing these, like, daily grind, stupid jobs, man, you know, and I'm not bashing anyone who works at McDonald's, because I did it for years, or anyone who works at a Minute Mart or gas station, but, like stupid shit. You'd rather be doing something fun and getting paid for it. And uh, 
I went to school, high school, with this guy. His name was Clint. And his job, literally, in high school, was he would go geot hunting. And he would go out to the woods with a shovel, you know, with a pickaxe, all that type of shit. And he had this big red, like, 90s Cadillac. It was the square body, super long, extended. It was dope. But, uh, that was his job. The rest of us were doing fast food and stupid shit like that. And, and his job, literally, he'd go to school. And when he wasn't at school, he'd work. You know, and his job was literally, he would go geo hunting. And it was awesome. But, uh, basically, these ward off evil spirits. Um, and you're supposed to put them in front of a door or pretty, pretty much an opening to your house. You're supposed to put them in front of a door, a back door, a, a room. You could put it in front of a room. Like, say you're living in a house with where the people around you are negative and the only reason you're there is you're couch surfing or something. Like, you can put this in front of your door and it just kind of wards them off. And it's crazy. You would be surprised how well it works. Like, uh, I lived in this house in Lancaster, and I had one in front of my door. And uh, one of my ex, my, my ex, her aunt came over and was like, what's that rock in front of your door? I'm like, don't worry about it. What do you mean, what is it? Well, why is there a rock in front of your door? Because there's a rock in front of my door. Why does it matter? And you could tell, like, she she kept looking at it, and she kept being real negative and real argumentative about it. And I'm like, don't worry about it. Why, is, why does it matter? There's a rock in front of my door. Well, why is it there? Why is it there? What does it mean? <laughs> like, getting all huffy-puffy about it. And it's like, you got something in you. You got something in you or something. To make you fucking feel that energy and feel that you're not welcome. It's, and then the thing is, is, you're welcome in my house. It's just something there. Something was inside of her, whether it be gin or demon or negative energy or negative spirit. Something was in her to where she just, you couldn't carry a conversation with her without her just looking at the rock. She, she just kept looking at it. What is that? Why is it there? And you'd be like, hey, how was your day? Oh, it was good. And she's like focusing it on the rock. It's like, just, just chill. If you have nothing to hide, if you have nothing to worry about, you know, <laughs> something's in you. But yeah, this works the same as a gargoyle. It doesn't have the whole repel, but it has the whole keeping your house, um, you know, like, secure and safe from negative energy, negative spirits, demons, uh, black-eyed children, um, stuff like that, you know, it just, it's a nice um, just put it at your doorways, outside, I always keep this one outside, um, you can get them anywhere in Kentucky, man, it's easy occult items to find, you can, you can get this for a buck or two bucks, a gargoyle, or you can get um, a geo, man. You can find a geo if you live in Kentucky. Um, I'm not sure as far like where in the range of the U.S. on the map like you could find them, but you can find them anywhere. I mean, you can even find pocket-sized ones and keep it on you to just ward off that negativity, like just banish that shit. Next thing you know, you'll see a fucking halo around your head. You'll be, you know, walking on water and shit. But there you go. It's cheap. You know, it's it's cheap. And it's, in my opinion, it works. Um, but you all have a good day. It's been a crazy uh, week. Been a crazy, yeah, week. <laughs> past, past couple weeks have been crazy. I don't know, this summer, man, where summer's kicking in, people are getting wild and buck wild and crazy out there, and y'all be careful, I mean, just, just overcome them, the negative ones, with, like, positivity, uh, just over, overpower them with positivity, 
you know. I ran into a maniac that tried to fight me last week. And it was just like, I literally kept telling the guy, just chill, just chill, just chill. You know. Um, but y'all have a good day. Be careful, man. People are crazy.